Okay, here we're going to look at adding an assignment with Turnitin enabled to the new Moodle setup. So within my Moodle course, I turn editing on and add an activity and select assignment. You see from this list that Turnitin is no longer displayed. That's because it is now within the assignment. So I'm going to just click add. Give it a name. This is where you put your instructions to the students. And if I scroll down, we can set the date that it's available. And the bit that I'm interested in here is turn it in. See, by default, this is set to yes, and it will display the results to the students. So for this demonstration, I'm now just going to save and return. And I'll then log in as a student and upload my submission to the assignment. OK, so I'm now logged in as a student. I go to my submission and add. Agree with the declaration. So this confirms that I've not plagiarised and I've referenced my information appropriately. Then at the bottom of the page, I can add my file. So I just need to go to my desktop, click on the file I want and drag it over into Moodle. Then save the changes. You'll notice down at the bottom, I get an email here. That is what the student gets to confirm that the submission has actually been accepted. I'll now switch back to the staff role so that I can then review this on Turnitin. OK, as a member of staff, I now go in to the Turnitin test and view or grade all submissions. You can see that only one has been submitted in this test area. I'm just going to lock that so that it can't be changed afterwards. And I'll now grade it. Okay. And here we have the similarity score. If I go to the originality, that tells me exactly where this material comes from. And in this case, it's actually just details of a hyperlink. So there's no problem at all with that. And that's all there is to it.